you're watching a YouTube video. Well, I mean, obviously, but let's, let's say you're watching it some other time or a TV show or movie or something on Netflix, and then you realize, whoa, 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 whoa wait, what happened? Did that prop move around or something? I, I don't know, something looked off for some reason. And that's what's called a continuity problem. Oh, crap. There we go. We'll fix that in post, right? Okay, so what is continuity? Well, let me explain it to you this way. Most movies and TV shows and other types of media, they're not really shot in sequential order, so they're usually shot out of order, and then in editing, they have to be brought back in order to give the illusion that it's an order. Is that too many orders for you? Can I take your order? That's an order. I enough with the order jokes. Okay. But because there's costume changes, prop changes, location changes, actors are available at certain times, there's bound to be mistakes that happen, like a prop shifting in the background, or some lighting changes, or an actor's holding something in the right hand, and in the next shot they're holding it with their left hand, and you're like, wait a second, what happened? It's because of this. And these are actually very common. I mean, I have them in my films, you're gonna have them in your projects, even big budget Hollywood movies have them in theirs, because, well, I mean, just go to IMDb, go to the mistakes and goofs section, you're gonna see a lot of them for a lot of movies, and I think it may be every single one of them. More money, more problems. Man, I feel old saying that. <laughs> And now you're probably wondering, okay, how do I get rid of these? Well, that's the thing, you actually really can't get rid of all continuity problems. It's more of a matter of just keeping them to a minimum or keeping them in the background, so this is more damage control than anything. So here's a few tips that uh, I think may come in handy for you. Number one is do overheads and storyboard and just, you know, pre-production basically. Because the more you write stuff down, the more you draw stuff out, the more you do overheads. And overhead is basically a little drawing or whatever, or some diagram which shows you where the camera positions are, where the actors are standing, where the lights are, and stuff like that. And also, yeah, I mean, just write everything down as much as you can, including wardrobe and stuff like that. Because, I mean, the, the more you write down, the less problems you're gonna have, although this doesn't solve everything, which goes to number two, have someone take pictures on set. It could be you or it could be somebody else. This is really important because let's say you have to shoot a scene where an actor had to leave early for one day, you have to pick it up a few days later, and you have to refer back to those pictures because let's say you take you take uh, footage from both shoots, you have to cut back and forth and let's say some props move around, it's gonna be a little distracting, depends how much in the background or in the foreground they are, so yeah, just take pictures because it's really gonna help you. Number three is be wary of the sun and daylight and stuff like that. As you can see behind me, I have artificial lights running right here and bouncing off the wall here, but if you see behind me, it's just daylight out there, but it's overcast and the sunlight was out just a little while back, but now it's overcast and the sun's probably gonna be coming in and out, so I thought, hey, why not just make a video talking about continuity? Right, right, because when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, right? So this is my lemonade, so screw you clouds. Number four, try faking daylight if you can, because let's say you, you have a, you're shooting indoors with just one window, you, maybe if you can afford it, put a bunch of lights outside and just make fake daylight. Let me show you an example here, okay, so this is, uh, basically four, five, six o'clock in the evening, we're just shining up like two or three lights from outside into the into the bedroom. And yeah, as you can see, it looks pretty daylightish. Is that a word? It's not a word, but I'll take it. Mind you, continuity problems can happen in sound as well. Let's say you're filming two actors, one of them has a bunch of traffic sound behind him, and the other one doesn't have any. So when you're cutting back and forth during dialogue, you have this traffic noise coming in and out, which takes you completely out of the scene and even the movie. So just be mindful, especially of airplanes, birds which are chirping right now and people driving here and there. So just be, be be wary of that. And one more little tip, if you're gonna be having continuity problems, make sure it's something in the background that's kind of hard to see or whatever because if you're having continuity problems and something is jumping around like a key prop that everyone's supposed to keep their eye on, then you might have to reshoot that, just letting you know right now. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you what's the continuity problem that you've spotted that's the worst in any movie or, or video or TV show, whatever. If you had to ask me, I think the one most jarring one would be from Jurassic Park. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google it. If you do know what I'm talking about, you, know, you probably know which one I'm talking about. So, anyway. So if you like this video, then check out the rest of my channel. I do some more tips and tricks for beginners. And I also do videos for filmmaking apps and gear, where I do overviews and reviews for those. And I also make some narrative content myself, some comedy films, some short films, some drama films. Well, they're all short films. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. And hit that subscribe button. Take it easy. See ya. So that's part of the problem of shooting outside when it's partly cloudy because the sun is going to be coming in and out and your shots are not going to match up. So thank you, Clouds, today for ruining my takes.